Go to David Oak Park, 97.1. What's up, D? How you doing? These guys doing? Good. What's up? I just wanted to say this. Uh, I, I respect your opinion as as a as a sports broadcaster, and and, and and here's my opinion. I hope you respect that. I don't think you play the tank in any sport, especially a competitive sport like basketball. If you just don't play the tank to get a draft pick to try to improve your franchise. Now, again, I respect your opinion. I don't know what sport you've ever played competitively, but you just don't do that. Any true ball player or any true player. Did I ask him not to nature. try? Did I did I ever listen, say that? I'm just giving you my opinion. Yeah, and I'm giving happy you mine. Oh, and don't yeah, be happy surprised if get out. How about that? You ain't gonna talk over me. That ain't how this works. Don't give me this. You respect my opinion. You don't respect nothing. So you can get the hell up out of here. Don't give me that bull. Well, I respect yours, so I'm gonna come up here and give you a whole bunch of bula, and I gotta sit here like a puppet. There may be other air traffic controllers who do this job. I ain't one of them. I'll fly my own damn plane. I didn't say guys shouldn't try. I said you put a lineup on the court that can't win no matter how hard they do. Get it through your skull. What sport did I play? Here, I was the starting two guard for the Boston Celtics in 87. What does that give me a better right to say something that makes sense? I don't care if I worked in a coal mine. What I'm saying is right. It's real. But let me guess, you were an eighth grade basketball champ at summer camp, so you think you got a right to speak nonsense. Hell, uh, get out of my show. Don't call back. I hate when callers do Well, I respect your opinion, but license for me to vomit a take on the air that doesn't make any sense. I was just waiting for the butt. Yeah, I respect your opinion. I want to reiterate. I really do respect your opinion. Yeah. And, and here's what yeah. I'm about to say. Yeah. But what I'm about to say is exceedingly stupid. So now my expectation is you won't speak, but then I'm going to talk over you when you go and ask me a question. Get out. Get out. But then when you responded, he felt, because he was trying to argue, he felt that he could automatically say whatever he wanted because he started the phone call oh, by right. saying, I respect oh, your and opinion. Then, and, but... and then he tells me, Happy New Year. Yeah, here, celebrate your 2020. Don't call me again.